Do you know what is created when a group of nerds who share a common love and passion for a game that they're creating? A masterpiece is created. Oh, it's five minutes to eleven. Do you want me to infect you with the bubonic plague? <laughs> Bungie was the group of nerds with a burning passion for Halo and an even bigger passion for its fans and players. If it were not for Bungie, the Halo franchise simply would not be looked on with such a beautiful nostalgia two entire decades later. Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. When Bungie made the bittersweet farewell to Halo and its fans in the post-credits at the end of the original Halo Reach on Xbox 360, all the way back in September 14th of 2010, many people were disheartened to hear that a beautiful story and its beautiful creators had come to the end of an era. The game was then handed off to the dumpster fire that we all know today as 343 Industries. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Yeah, yeah. Who at this very point in the timeline has only made one Halo game known as Halo Wars. In fact, Halo Wars wasn't even an original concept to begin with, as it was just a Halo themed version of Command and Conquer 3 essentially. So that being said, my hopes were already looking dim for 343 to continue making Halo games. Then dropped Halo 4, a forgettable Halo title to say the least. But this was the best first person point of view Halo title that 343 Industries has managed to make to this current day. And the sole reason for that is purely because it still felt like Halo Reach, which is no surprise because it was literally made on the Halo Reach engine, something that Bungie had created. I have a job to do. Cortana's our concern now, sir. Like hell she is. That last clip was all I was going to do for Halo 5 because it's not even worth mentioning. Bungie did Halo justice. 343 destroyed and spat on the franchise in any way 343 Industries could. They even managed to neuter Halo Reach in the Master Chief Collection with the horrible UI overhaul, the lack of progression the original had, and even removed the farewell message from Bungie in the end credits of the Master Chief Collection edition of Halo Reach. As sad as I am to admit this, the only good games 343 can genuinely create is Halo Wars. That is where they're most efficient at, cloning other games with a fresh paint of skin essentially. Halo Infinite is the epitome of woke agendas, corporate greed, and the lack of passion by its new creators that have single-handedly destroyed the franchise with each new Halo title that they release. It is disgusting that AAA titles as of late have been so blatantly money hungry they forgot about the most valuable asset, you, the fans. Fun fact, 343 Industries didn't even have to build up a fan base from the ground up because Bungie had already done that for them. And what do you know, 343 Industries still manages to screw it up somehow to degrees unfathomable. The next clip here is going to be one of my favorite scenes because this is just like a mic drop from uh, Carter. Mama, we can get past it, sir. No, you can't. Not without help. Commander, you don't have the firepower. I've got the mask. Silent copy. Hit him on, boss. You're on your own, Noble. Carter out.
now, speaking of AAA titles, don't even get me started on Call of Duty or even worse Battlefield as of late. Unless you want me to go all out on the state of Battlefield in another video, just leave a like, comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this subject. Oh P.S. I have merch by the way. That being said, I'm the Awesome Possum, and thank you for tuning in to today's video.